COP27 host Egypt warns UK not to backtrack from climate agenda. The Egyptian government, host of the next UN climate summit, has warned the UK against backtracking from the global climate agenda. In a significant intervention prompted by fear over Liz Truss's commitment to net zero, the warning before COP27 conference, which will take place in just over a month in Sham El Sheikh, to the host of COP26, which took place in Glasgow last November, is highly unusual in diplomatic terms. The hosts of successive COP are responsible for a smooth handover of the talks. The intervention sparked by the report that King Charles III had been effectively forbidden by the UK Prime Minister from attending COP27 reflects fear among participants in the talk over a change of direction from Britain. The previous Prime Minister Boris Johnson was regarded as a strong champion of the UK's gold, shared with many other rich nations of net zero greenhouse gas emission by 2050. But trust, though she has said she support the net zero target, has dismayed climate campaigners by offering more than 100 new licenses for oil and gas in the North Seas, lifting the ban on tracking and cancelling green regulations. She may also fail to attend COP27, a significant snub to the Egyptian host, who are holding a leader submit for heads of states and government as part of the conference. The Egyptian government praised King Charles, who spoke at the start of the Paris Climate Summit in 2015, and was an important presence at COP26 as a champion of the environment, and pointedly extended an invitation to him. A COP27 spokesperson said, the COP president designated is disappointed by these reports. The Egyptian presidency of the climate conference acknowledged the long-standing and strong commitment of His Majesty to the climate cause, and believed that his presence would have been of great added value to the visibility of climate action at this critical moment. We hope that this doesn't indicate that the UK is backtracking from the global climate agenda. After presiding over COP26, he added, His Majesty King Charles was invited as a very special guest to COP27. The invitation was extended to His Royalty Highness as Prince of Wales and renewed to His Majesty as King and he will be most welcome in Sharm el-Sheikh if he honor us with his presence. The spokesperson also noted Truss was still invited in her capacity as head of the UK government, all leaders of state's party, to UNFCCC. The host country will announce the number of head of states and government taking parts as we get closer to the Sharm el-Sheikh climate implementation submit, he said. So far, Egypt has received a very encouraging number of confirmation from heads of states and government from every region. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.